Hi, I'm Sir Jane French. And I'm Charlie Simpson. Hey, did you know we have 50 clubs here at Memorial High School? Really? What are they? Well, we got the Art Club, the Smash Club, the Chess Club, the Drama Club. That's so cool. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Jenny Janung. Here at Memorial, there are many clubs for students to join. In this video, we focus on Art Club and National Art Honor Society. We practice a lot of like composition and prismacolor, watercolor, and we also do figure drawings. So that's what we're doing right now. Because I was so passionate about art, I like looked it up before I entered freshman year, and I saw art club and I joined. And even there's like posters around. I recommend freshmen to come is because, um, especially if you're inspired in art, because you can learn from other people. I learned a lot about the industry and um, going to you know, like art schools or if you're interested in majoring art, so that's a big part of like communicating with other people too. Okay, so it's really, really simple actually. It's not like we have an art honor society, but this is not part of that. This is more or less for people who are like freshmen usually, who want to come in, expand their art skills, uh, and develop higher critical thinking. If you're an artistic freshman and you, you don't take Art One, and you don't have like the time to do so, I would recommend it if you don't really plan on, if it's just a hobby. Um, if you are higher leveled and like you are, you're doing like Art 3 or, or Art 4, I wouldn't really recommend it. It's more or less just like touching up on the basics, ergo why a lot of our club members are freshmen and sophomores. Now we're going to hear from Ms. Barry about National Art Honor Society. Uh, you have to be selected and it's based on your GPA in art and also how many contests and shows you enter and are successful in. You have to complete Art 1 to get in Art Honor Society. Try to meet uh, about once a month. Uh, this year we haven't had our selections yet. so. Uh, we did cards for custodians, Christmas cards, and then we were going to focus on some more uh, philanthropy projects in the spring. Normally freshmen aren't even allowed because it's kind of an invitation only club. And so to, it's really teacher selection and it's kind of like honor society, but for art. With Grayson Gardner and Kate Litchman, this is NBC 713. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Annie Stewart, and today we talk to the German and ASL club about what they do and what their clubs are about. Um, I decided to start the ASL club after I took ASL 1 when I was a sophomore. A lot of times we play games, like in sign language or teach like everyone like the alphabet or number. You don't have to be in ASL to join the club. The main goal of the club is to like spread deaf culture and teach other people about sign language that might not know a lot about deaf people or sign language. meetings they're every Wednesday after school and then we can get you set up on the remind so you can get the messages for the club so the club was started two years ago by two people called Janali and Sarah Lips who are no longer at the school but Juliana and I continued the club as co-presidents this year I joined the German club because um, I wanted to learn some uh, another culture rather than just mine in German club, we watch different movies, we participate in different cultural activities and seasonal stuff that's going on. We always meet on Wednesdays. We set our dates for once a month, and then we everybody can join the club. You don't have to be in the class, and you can just come and walk right in and see what we're Yeah, incoming freshmen, definitely, because you get to meet more people who are like in German. And there's also some people who aren't in German who come to the club, and they just check out what we're doing. So definitely, I think it's something you should try. That was the German and ASL club. Thanks for watching. Beta Club is a national honor society based on achievement, character, leadership, and service. It's a national organization, uh, and so we have a little memorial chapter. It's a community service organization, very similar to National Honor Society. This is a national organization that was already created, and so we just decided to host it at our school. 
The club itself does community service projects both for, you know, Memorial High School and um, we also try to do one for the community. We try to do at least one or two for each per semester. So they just fill out an application. They just need to demonstrate that they're of general good character and um, have a pretty good academic background and then they can join the organization. So, you know, um, pretty much anybody can join. We, we do it as sophomores up though, not freshmen. Like, I guess, like be in school for a year and then sophomores up can join. Um, at a club meeting, it's normally planning for our community community service events. So we usually talk about what we're going to do, where we're going to do, and give that information to our members. We meet every other Wednesday. They're never very long. You know, our meetings are, I don't know, less 30 minutes maybe. So um, it's a nice social organization, I, I think, as well as a, a service. You know, um, so for example, some meetings will will determine like, okay, we're going to do you know the life skills party this semester. So then the following meeting will be um, planning like the games and the decorations and things like that. Well, I joined this club honestly at first for a resume booster, but at the same time, I realized it was student run. So a lot of the events I thought I we could I wanted to do it was possible, and also it's just a place to meet new people that you. Would, I thought I wouldn't meet before. The students really generate their own ideas. They take charge of things, you know, and I like that. I think it definitely fosters um, a sense of kind of ownership of the group and leadership skills, you know, for the students. I would suggest it to everyone if they have the time for it. Definitely. It's actually a lot of fun. We asked Chess Club members what they think about Chess Club. Here are their responses. Um, I like Chess Club because it's fun and I get to spend time with my friends after school. Like most about Chess Club is getting to spend time after school with my friends playing chess. Playing the students, that's my favorite part, is playing the students even when I lose to them. Uh, winning. I joined Chess Club because I saw it um, at the club fair and it looked interesting so I joined. I joined Chess Club because I heard about it from friends and I thought it was interesting. Uh, to win. Uh, no. Uh, it's, uh, why did I join Chess Club? Uh, I, I originally heard about it in my freshman year, but I was reluctant to join. Uh, but once I joined, I realized it was not as scary as I thought it was. Um, we just play chess with each other, with other members. Just students show up and we uh, play games of chess against each other and it's super fun. We enjoy it. Uh, students show up when they want to and uh, we basically just sit here and brawl and get to it. We just play like one game of chess. Oh, I've maintained it and it's the best board game in the entire world. Um, that no two games are ever alike and the, um, I think it makes you smarter, you know, and sometimes you're playing against someone who's better than you and he beats you and sometimes Sometimes you make really foolish moves and you beat yourself. I like chess because, uh, like Michelle said, there's no two games that are alike. Every single game is different. Um, it, it's always uh, a strive for improvement. It's fun. It's a cool board game to play when you're bored. It's fun and it like, challenges your mind. It's not just like a normal board game. Chess Club meets every Monday after school for like an hour. Right here in this room, 0207. But you should definitely come to Chess Club, even if you don't know how to play. Just join Chess Club. It's a really fun game. You should learn how to play. What's up, Memorial High School? I'm Matthew Mouton, and let's go take a look at the Future Engineers of America and the Robotics Club. Uh, I'm Noel by I sponsor the Engineering Club. I'm Morgan Maddox, I'm in 12th grade, and I am the president of the Future Engineers of America Club. Um, the club really explores the different fields of engineering through contests, speakers, games, and other things like that. My favorite thing about the club is getting to reach out to companies, and we actually collect money from the companies so we can offer prizes for people and it's a really good incentive to encourage people to join engineering and learn more about it. When we go to competition, we will be able to win. We think we're just about to lose, but we're still winning in some other way that we could do it. So that's, those are great memories okay. for me. The end goal probably is to encourage more people to join engineering, like I said, and really just show what engineering is about outside of the classroom, how it's not just like definitions and Use the principle of engineering and you'll be able to use it to competition. Also, competition, teamwork, you know, there's a lot of good things that will happen for that. Usually my kids that are good in, in robotics, they go to very good school. We meet in the 
place to buy board is room, which is kind of by the cafeteria. And our meetings are kind of sporadic with like the events we have. It's usually like one for each semester, and then we have a couple of meetings around each month. For robotics, we meet before competition. It could be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but usually it's on a Friday. Well, we have some like contests that we have in his classroom where we're doing the spaghetti and marshmallow tower building contest. And we'll have another one coming up with another cash prize. This was Matthew and Samira reporting from NBC News. Everybody remember, horsepower drives the news. Thank you for watching. Have a phenomenal day. Welcome to Memorial, and here on campus, we have a lot of clubs to be a part of. Today, me and my partner, Kate Zaleski, will be showing y'all FCA. FCA stands for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. The mission of the club is to um, bring together student athletes with the opportunity to share Christ, grow in their faith, and have, have, have opportunities to bring in other students who um, play sports and grow in their faith. So FCA has actually been around for a while. It's a national um, organization and they have individual clubs at the different middle schools and high schools um, across the United States. So in a typical meeting, we begin during both lunches. Uh, we actually have two separate meetings, one each lunch. We meet currently in Coach Larry's room over in Gym 101. It only lasts like 15 to 20 minutes, but we do go deep into the scriptures we read, and it's really exciting. We have meetings once a week. Um, it's usually Tuesdays during lunch, and students gather in one of the coaches' classrooms, and we just have a message, and we get to eat your lunch, and we kind of just like talk about God and kind of grow together. Our officer would lead read the passage and have questions while our kids are all sitting at tables in the room would just answer questions discussing their personal experiences and general knowledge of the Bible. My favorite thing about SCA is probably how not only is it like a great place for like the different students to gather and grow in their faith, but um, as leaders we have individual meetings like with uh, our sponsors and we get to grow together and kind of like form relationships with one another. Joining FCA, you're joining other like-minded athletes just want to grow in their faith, learning about Jesus Christ and what salvation brings for us and freedom that comes with it. If you come, you'll get a chance to meet some great people, help invite others, develop your faith, their faith, and maybe even be in a leadership position yourself too in the future. It's, it's always been a great organization that is great at pulling kids in and developing leadership skills with them able to grow their faith and even give them opportunities to teach other kids. Uh, I enjoy seeing our kids grow. They invite other kids, they speak themselves, lead the lessons, and really me, um, Coach Brady, and Coach Sides just kind of sit back and handle logistics while the kids lead it, and it's just great to see them grow in their faith and grow in their leadership. Hey Memorial, it's Amelia Christensen reporting live from NBC 713 with my partner Jordan Stein. Today we're going to take a look at the Interact Club and what they do on campus. Uh, so we're a volunteering based club. We work um, pretty closely with the Rotary, which is an internationally known um, organization that uh, does a lot of fundraising and volunteering work and they're all adults. So we're kind of like the high school version of that. It's really active. The kids are like... There's a lot of like involvement with everyone, putting out new ideas. Um, they have a really good time and they have fun with it. So um, we'll usually discuss what events we have coming up and who's um, who's able to go, who can't go, and uh, kind of get a picture of what we'll be doing at that event. Uh, my favorite part is getting to hang out with people I usually don't get to hang out with all the time during school. And when we go to the events, it's not just helping out volunteers, like we get to have a fun time together. Um, every month, uh, the um, local Rotary District will go um, uh, give, um, like hand out food to a, um, a um, homeless shelter for elderly, um, el el elderly people. So we'll help out, we'll help give out food and cook food for that. And uh, once a month, we'll also go uh, help repair bikes um, at a local church. Hey everybody, my name is Luke Kohler with the NBC 713. Today we're going to be showing you guys a video over the Junior Achievements Club. Hope you enjoy. Um, hi, my name is Yuno Sun. I am one of the co-CEOs of the Junior Achievement Program. 
I am enrolled in Mr. Sparks' East Period class, and it was set as a junior achievement class. So very luckily, I was involved in junior achievement that way. Uh, it's definitely been very fun. We had to start everything from scratch. So uh, we were ordering, we were figuring out a business plan and how to reach out to uh, the clients. We also participated in the Rice University competition, and we um, we won third place. So yeah, it has been an amazing experience. I am Ivan Longoria, and I am the lead salesperson for Biodigo. We have a biodegradable plate, and it's really good for the environment. Um, it's made out of rice and stuff like that, so you can throw it anywhere, and it'll be good. It's really cool. You can show it off to all your like your mom's friends. Be like, look at how cool I am. I'm involved. So this is harmful because uh, you, you're not really supposed to eat off of styrofoam and stuff like that. You're not supposed to eat off of it because there's certain chemicals and stuff inside of it that aren't good for the body. And what our stuff does is the complete opposite. It's good if you microwave it and no matter what it'll be good for you. And we don't want this because they're hurting the planet and the planet is really what we want to protect. My name is Robert Sparks and I teach principles of business. And we have a junior achievement product, uh, product, which is a product right now. And we're in competition. We actually won our pitch at Rice University. We, we had very little support. We didn't have a room. They made us practice in a closet. However, our product was so outstanding that uh, we won the Shark Tank. Uh, we decided to replace the styrofoam containers because they are not only harmful to the environment because they never go away. They're also bad when it comes to your food because if you warm them up in there, it's toxic. People don't know that. So we're looking for support from everyone. Uh, and our next project will be at the Memorial City Mall where we're going to take donations for some plates that we've gotten, uh, small and large, so that people can have some of them for a donation. We're going to use that uh, information, that money, to do a mass marketing campaign to not only restaurants, but food trucks, uh, pastry shops, any place that delivers food or has food. And we're going to try to do as much as we can in Texas. Already in Houston, we know that they don't supply it. This is a chance to educate people and do a better job for the environment. The students are right on top of it. They really like it. Uh, it's been very successful. I've been very supportive. Thanks for watching, everybody. This video is made by Tanner Janho, Isabella Orbananos, Ali O'Shell and Luke Kohler. Have a great day. Hello Memorial, I'm Ben Gale and today we're going to be looking at one of Memorial's wonderful student organizations, LULAC, or League of United Latin American Citizens. Gomez, that's not. My name is Patricio Vera and I'm in 12th grade. I'm the Vice President of LULAC. It stands for League of United Latin American Citizens and we are the Youth Council. So we usually start around like 3.15. Our President, Alex Gomez, he usually starts, he leads off with whatever we're going to discuss that meeting, whether it is um, introducing a guest speaker we have or talking about the importance of voting, just stuff like that. We kind of just touch on social issues regarding the Hispanic population. We try to set up volunteer opportunities. We're going to be building wheelchair ramps for a senior center. Helping them give them back to the community. So. We're currently setting that up with our sponsor at Council 60, and hopefully we can we can get this project started pretty soon. Another meeting for that, like visitors come, speak, give us some good information. You know, very interesting. So LULAC is pretty good to be a part of, uh, first and all, because it's like an actual official thing. It's the largest and oldest Hispanic organization in the country um, so whenever you join we actually set you up with a real membership uh, council 60 covers the membership cost for us so pretty much anybody who joins the youth council is an official member of LULAC you get a whole membership card and everything something that you can put on your resume and you have like proof of actually you know being a part of it's a great organization uh, there's scholarship opportunities you can do so if you want to join uh, you could either go to Ms. Thomas's room and ask her about it there's a remind you can join or you can come up either to me Alex Gomez uh, Stefan Oscopi say uh, we can let you know how you can join and be a part of our club
What's up Memorial? I'm Brendan Simpson from NBC713 and today we're going to be heading over to the UIL Number Sense Club. Let's go take a look. My name is Yunel Sun. So a normal day in our meeting usually involves um, practicing a lot of practice tests or packets um, and also sometimes I try to bring snacks and this year we're trying to have more um, like games such as Kahoot or Quizlet so we can practice that way too. Yeah, it's definitely very competitive. Last year we competed in our UIL district and we have three types of tests. One is math, the other one's calculator and also number sense. So last year we competed in UIL district competitions and we ranked number one in our calculator team. So during our meetings, we usually have practice packets or practice tests. Members, they work together as a team to help each other uh, figure out prob difficult problems. Um, sometimes we also use Kahoot and Quizlet to help practicing those questions as well. So we meet every Monday after school from 3 to 4 in B206. Stop by if you would like to have some fun with math. Thanks for watching Memorial and make sure to go check out the UIL Number Sense Club. The doors are wide open. Hi, I'm Gabby Bella. <laughs> and I'm Lena Monti and today we will be profiling two clubs. The Mental Health Ambassadors Club and the Student Health Advisory Council Club. SHAC is a student-like organization where we talk about physical and mental health and we meet Mondays and Wednesdays um, once every month. So our mission for the club is to fight the unfair AP policy and also we're starting next semester a program called the Peer-to-Peer -peer Review which is pairing up freshmen with seniors so they can have help just figuring out life as in high school. We try to do as many volunteering events as possible and we have speakers about talking about mental health and like ways we can combat it or combat like stress in general. Anybody can join. We have posters around the school which have the remind code on it or you can come see me or the president if you see us in the halls. My name is Sarah Rule and I'm the president of the Mental Health Ambassadors Club. We're like focused on breaking the stigma around mental health awareness and just telling students that like there's there's ways for you to get help with your mental struggles. This club helps students in multiple ways. Um, we have like our de-stress fest um, during finals where we help students like just cope with like stress of finals and like teaching them to like take breaks. Um, we have like a lot of events surrounding that um, and we also have our open mic event which allow students to share their stories through like personal like forms of literature and um, you can speak to like an audience and it's just um, very good for like awareness about your stories. We started the Mental Health Ambassadors Club at the beginning of last school year. Um, we had some students who were interested in advocating here on campus and in the community. We also do um, stuff out in the community. We do our wellness market here on campus in April. Students are able to join. Um, if they're interested, they just stop by, let us know, and um, we have um, a remind group that they can join, and that way they know about all of our meetings. Our hope is that this club is a way for students to come together um, to just feel okay about where they're at. Hey Memorial, it's Luke Kohler with NBC713. Today we're going to be doing a video over the Mob Club. Hope you enjoy. I'm the vice president, or one of the vice presidents of Mob, um, special, specifically in charge of Special Olympics and Fun Runs. This one is Special Olympics and we go work with kids um, with special needs and we show them fun team building exercises and they let them, we let them play sports and uh, just kind of get their competitive attitude on. So right now we're doing bowling and we just finished bocce about a few weeks ago. There's a mob website, memorialmustang.com I think, or I think on the MHS webpage you can go under volunteer hours or something like that. It's not that hard. I'm Ruka. Adachi, I'm a senior and I'm the president of MOB. MOB is the largest student organization at our school and we're a volunteer organization and we volunteer at different events all across the greater Houston area from like Houston Food Bank to the Galveston Beach Cleanup. You should join MOB because you get to volunteer and give back to the community uh, while having fun with your friends and it's really cool um, the amount of effort we put in and how much goes, how much you put into these events and um, just being able to hang out with your friends, it's really cool. 
This is Luke Kohler with the MBC 713. Hope you enjoyed the video. What's up, Memorial? I'm Matthew. Let's take a look at Movie Club. Why are you in Movie Club? Because I like making stuff. And because this is the only club that I'm really interested in. We are making movies. We're not watching movies. Everyone got this confused. I got this confused and that's why I didn't come in until like four weeks after it already started. We are making movies. We're not watching them. <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish in Movie Club? Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, create movies, make something of value that everyone can show off to the school and other schools and their family. What do y'all do in Movie Club? Uh, well, we film, we write, we just kind of make people understand how movies work. Hi Mustangs, I'm Morgan Noda. And I'm Cooper Simon. And today we're going to be interviewing all the different representatives for the alternative sports clubs that we have here at Memorial. My name is Davey Evans. Uh, I'm the vice president of the Ultimate Frisbee Club. In Ultimate Frisbee, we, um, we mainly just play Ultimate Frisbee. We have fun there. <laughs> we meet at, on Fridays after school for about two hours, f generally in the winter, so from November to February. My favorite thing that we do in our club is just play Ultimate. It's a lot of fun for us. People should join our club is, um, if they really like Ultimate Frisbee or they just want to just wanna be, like, be with people and have some fun. If I could describe our club in one word, I would <laughs> describe it as epic. Just because we go out there, we compete and have a lot of fun with each other. Hi, I'm Emily Little. I'm the vice president of the Yoga Club. In Yoga Club, we meet every other Wednesday and we eat snacks together and then we just do a little flow and some breathing exercises to relax and de-stress. Our meetings usually last around 30 minutes. My favorite thing is when we have meditation because after a nice flow, it's fun to just lay down and think about what you've done and what you want to do for the rest of the time. We made the club because school can be really stressful and we wanted somewhere for students to go and just relax and not think about the stresses of school and just be calm and peaceful. It's a great environment of really fun people and we all just have fun, eat snacks and relax with each other and talk about whatever we want and stop thinking about school for a little while. <laughs> My name is, is Paul Bryan, Mr. Bryan, and I uh, sponsor the Memorial High School Table Tennis Club. It's based on social activities. Students that come, and it's open door at, at all levels, and they come to a common place playing ping pong, and I set it up as a social interaction uh, for people to uh, uh, to spend time uh, doing something they like to do around their peers and I, my hope is is that because we have such a big school with 2,500 students there's a lot of different kinds of people and you all are going to be uh, working with those folks uh, after you leave here so it's not a bad idea to to spend time working and learning how to interact here. Tuesdays at 3 o'clock that's been our steady eddy day for about 10 years now. As soon as they get there, and it's right around three, sometimes a little later, others kind of drift in after band practice or, or a debate competition, and then we finish at four o'clock. So I like, I like setting up interactions that, that uh, come up with positive results, uh, working relationships, because there'll be better people afterwards, and, and not that they won't, but they'll have the opportunity. Thanks for watching, I'm Cooper Simons. And I'm Morgan Odom. Along with Hannah Baker and Kate Connor. Signing off with NVC 713. Hello, this is Aspen Eastham and I'm Adelaide Ellington and we're going to interview the student council. This year we ran the Red Out Canned Food Drive. This was the fourth year doing it. Um, it's very fun and we won this year, yay. And we also do Thanksgiving baskets for the custodial staff, we plan the homecoming dance, we do homecoming elections, student council elections in the spring, we're doing a secret Santa for the stack faculty now. Um, we're pretty busy all year long. Uh, which one do you think was the biggest success? The canned food drive. Do you know how many cans we donated? 
Oh, yes. Um, we brought in 33,675 cans to their 31,495 for over 65,000 cans total. Oh my goodness, that's so good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, my role in student council is that I'm a representative for my senior class. Uh, my role this year is I'm the uh, vice president uh, of the school. Uh, it really depends on what you're running for, but for like for me, when I ran for vice president, I had to write a speech, and um, it was announced during um, one of the broadcasting videos. Uh, so yeah, you kind of just enroll in that, but you can there's like for a representative. You kind of just sign up and um, people will vote on you, your class. Um, to become a representative, you have to attend a meeting at the beginning of the year with all the other candidates and then you submit your name to be a representative and they'll put it on a Google Doc um, and your class will vote on it during advisory and then you find out a couple days later if you got the job. Uh, for the school annually and we do, we set up homecoming, clean up homecoming, uh, Thanksgiving baskets, we uh, organize a canned food drive for Stratford, and we do like Secret Santa stuff for the teachers. Uh, there's a lot of events involved with student council, like um, homecoming, um, Secret Santa. Uh, we make th Thanksgiving baskets. Um, so there, yeah, there's a lot of events that we run, um, and like prom, but mainly school function events. Um, so my Secret Santa this year was Junior Ava Willard. And uh, she got me all the best things. I got coffee and sweet treats and hair oil and a big fluffy blanket that I'm so excited to use. And it was just a really fun, um, I always have fun with Student Council Secret Santa, but this year was extra special because Abe is in the best class ever, <laughs> photography three. So um, I hope she has a Merry Christmas and the rest of Student Council has a Merry Christmas too. Welcome to Memorial. Today we are going to look at two of many clubs offered here. The first is Teens for Green. Uh, I'm the founder of the Teens for Green Club and I founded it because I want to inspire others to care about the environment and spend more time outdoors. Um, I'm a co-founder of Teens for Green. Um, my friend and I founded this club because we really love the environment and we wanted a way to give back um, at our school here at Memorial. We meet once a month and then we volunteer at the Edith more nature sanctuary um, once a month on a Saturday. We have a community garden here that we currently started this year. We raise awareness about healthy green living by in volunteering events to better the environment and we're not limited to like uh, these things. We're like open to more things too. They should join this club because it's really fun and it's a great way to get some service hours. The way to create a positive impact and um, be involved in the community. Wow, this sounds like the perfect opportunity to give back to the community and help the environment. Now we're going to take a look at the Paul Club. Uh, I'm in Paul Club. I'm the president. I create the club. Um, I'm a part of Paul. I'm in Paul because I really enjoy animals and like playing with them, and that's what we do in the club. I volunteer at the animal shelter at Echo Lane, and we like play with the kittens and walk the dogs. Like. Um, events on the weekends where you can go volunteer at like other animal shelters and stuff. If you love animals and want to help more homeless animals, you should join us. I know I love getting to play with the animals while learning more about the club. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then contact the Paw Club. Well, that's it for today. I'm Kirby Robinson alongside Anastasia Moro and Brittany Castro, where NBC 713 Horsepower drives the news. Hi, Memorial. I'm Gabby Bella. And I'm Mina Monti. And today we'll be talking about some clubs on campus. UNICEF and Aiding Kids in Need, or Akin. So UNICEF is the United, um, United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. So what we do is we do a lot of fundraiser, fundraisers and events to support different philanthropies and also programs in UNICEF. And this year we did more community service and more local events. So we did a toy drive that helped Interfaith Ministry. So we work with other philanthropies. And then we also did uh, the World Children's Day, which uh, we congratulated like a local elementary school on helping save a child's life. So it's really easy to join and you can join at any time. Our Instagram is memorialhsunicef 
and in our bio is like the remind and stuff so you can just text us and ask if you want to join and then you can pay your dues to Coach Moles which is in room T6. So Kin does a lot of donation drives and um, fundraisers, charity fundraisers. We've done bake sales and we've done school supply toys and um, book drives um, for local um, organizations that are in Houston. Uh, my favorite thing about the club is the variety of events that we do. So um, each month we get to explore like the different ways that we can help um, a certain organization that we're, that we're working with at that month because each month is a new event for our club. Um, within school, we hope to engage Memorial students in volunteering and pique their interest in volunteering by giving them an opportunity to connect with organizations outside of our school. And in our community, we work with Houston organizations and abroad organizations like within other states in the country and outside of the country too, to help like, donate by like, doing drives, fundraising events, and things like that. Um, we don't have too much time required from our members. We usually have a meeting about once a month, but we understand if we have a schedule conflict or anything like that, so we usually send all of our meeting information via Remind or any events that we have planned out via Remind. And you can sign up for any event that you would like to do, so you can sign up for any time, anything whenever you're free or have more time off. So it's basically catered more towards your schedule, and whenever you want to sign up, you can sign up. You can join by texting 81010 to our remind code at MHS Akin.